Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? Hmm, I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty. So my dear students, today I have a wonderful story for you all. So let's see what is our new story. Oh, our new Pinocchio. What? Pinocchio. Wonderful. Let's see what happened in this story. Okay, so let's start our story. What's the name of our story? Yes, Pinocchio. So, listen it very, very, very carefully because after this, I will ask some questions about it. Okay, so let's start. Once there lived an old carpenter called Gepetto. He had no family and was quite lovely. He, since he was quite poor, he would find leftover wooden logs and create something new out of them. One night he found a large wooden log yeah, wooden log and took it home. So what happened in the next throughout the night Gepetto worked on the log and carved a young boy. Yes, with the wooden log. By the time he was done with it, it was morning. So, oh, my, my, what a beautiful boy I have made. Who said this? Yes, Gepetto. Gepetto, she said, what a beautiful boy I have made. I wish he had a heart and then he could be my son and I would call him, what? Pinocchio. A good fairy who, yes, a good fairy who knew that Gepetto was a very nice man overheard him and suddenly the wooden boy spoke up. Hello, what he said? Hello, Gepetto was surprised over, but overjoyed. He hugged Pinocchio and told him that from day he was Gepetto's son. Yes, Gepetto arranged for Pinocchio to go to school to buy him his book. Okay, what is so the Pinocchio uh, were ready to go to the school and the Gepetto arranged some books for him. He sold off his dear teaser. Now you can go to school like a real boy. One morning as Pinocchio was going to school, the ever puppet master stopped him. The puppet master wanted to own Pin Pinocchio. Why? Because he could use him to earn lots of money. Hello Pinocchio. Who said this one? Yes, the evil puppet master. Hello Pinocchio. Do you want to go to the fun island? It is a wonderful magical place where you can become a real boy. Pinocchio was overjoyed at the idea of going to fun land. He quickly started walking with the puppet master. The good fairy who had been watching over the Pinocchio suddenly appeared. Seeing her, the evil puppet master ran away, leaving puppet Pinocchio alone. Where are you going, Pinocchio? Who was this one? Yes, fairy. What, what she asked? Where are you going, Pinocchio? And the Pinocchio said, to school, good fairy. Just as Pinocchio said the lie. Yes. So, when he said lie, his wooden nose grew longer. That is not the way to the school, Pinocchio. Afraid that he had been caught, the, uh, so he decided to lie again. It is a new route with the second lie. Pinocchio's nose grew even longer. Now, he was very sad and he started crying. <laughs> I am sorry, I won't go to fun island i will go to school seeing how sorry pinocchio was the good fairy did her magic and turned his nose into the into its normal size again so pinocchio thanked her and dashed off to school once he reached school he told all his friends about the fun island so all his friends decided to go to see the magical place Okay, so what happened? What they did, did not know was that the magic is in Fun Island was evil. Okay, so it turned little boys into donkeys. 
Oh my god, the little boys turned into donkeys. Oh no, we are in trouble. Pinocchio said, Oh no, we are in trouble. Everybody run from here. Just as the boys were figuring a way out of the island, Pinocchio saw Gepetto swimming towards the island. He had been out looking for Pinocchio all the day. But to Pinocchio's horror, before Gepetto could reach him, a whale swallowed him up. To save his father, Pinocchio jumped into the sea and went straight into the stomach. Who's? Yes, whale's stomach. So, there he saw Gepetto. Pinocchio, my son, father, are you okay? The Pinocchio said, father, are you okay? How will you get out from here now? Yes, you know, how will you get out from here now? Well, we must tickle the whale from inside it. Well, what's the meaning of tickle? Just like, tch, tch, tch. okay. So, he, we must tickle the, whole, the whale from inside till it throws us out. And they started tickling, tickling like this. Oh, they and the whale are oh, like this, no, moving like this. So, it started tickling the whale's stomach. Soon, the whale sneezed like this. So, the whale sneezed and threw both of them out. Pinocchio helped his father and all his friends to get back to the village. The good fairy had been watching him all his time. Yes, yeah, the good fairy is watching all this time what they are doing. So, Pinocchio, I have seen what a good boy you have been jumping into the sea to save your father like that. Who said this one? Fairy. Hence, I am giving you a heart and making you a real boy. Pinocchio and Gepetto were, well, yes, were overjoyed. They hugged each other and thanked the fairy as Pinocchio turned into a real boy so my dear student how was the story mm, what can you tell me the moral of the story yes never tell lie we will never tell lie. you have to speak truth all the time okay so speak truth and never tell lie so to give you homework so what is your homework for today you have to to retell the story to your parents, siblings or friends. Okay? So, complete your homework firstly. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Goodbye. See you soon.